heard during Operation Linebacker 2, also known as the Christmas Bombings.53. The air to air kills were not confirmed by VPUF.PUF MiG 21 number 4326, which shot down 13 aircraft during the war, the biggest threat to North Vietnam. During the war had always been the Strategic Air Command's B-52 bombers. Hanoi's MiG-17 and MiG-19 interceptors could not deal with the B-52s at their flying altitude. In the summer of 1972, the VPUF was directed to train 12 MiG-21 pilots for the specific mission of shooting the B-52 bombers, with two-thirds of the pilots specifically trained in night attacks. 54, on the 26th of December, 1972, just two days after tail gunner Albert Moore downed a MiG-21, a VPUF MiG-21 MF, number 5121, 55, from the 921st Fighter Regiment, flown by Major Fintan over Hanoi, claimed the first aerial combat kill of a B-52.56. The B-52 had been above Hanoi at over 30,000 feet, 9,100 m, when Major Tuan launched two atoll missiles from two kilometers away and claimed to have destroyed one of the bombers flying in the three-plane formation. 56. Other Sources argue that the atoll missiles failed to hit their mark, but as it was disengaging, a B-52 from a three-bomber cell in front of his target took a hit from a surface-to-air missile, SAM, exploding in mid-air. This may have caused Tuan to think his missiles destroyed the target he had been aiming for. 57. The Vietnamese claimed another kill on the 28th of December, 1972 by a MiG-21 from the 921st FR, this time flown by Vuk Swan Thu. Thieu is said to have perished in the explosion of a B-52 hit by his own missiles having approached the target too closely. 58. In this case, the Vietnamese version appears to be erroneous while one MiG-21 kill was claimed by Phantoms that night. This may have been Thieu's MiG. No B-52s were lost for any reason on the date of the claimed kill. 59. Year-by-year -year kill claims involving MiG-21s. 1. 1966, U.S. claimed 6 MiG-21s destroyed, North Vietnam claimed 7 F-4 Phantom Eyes and 11 F-105. Thunderchiffs shot down by MiG-21s. 1967, U.S. claimed 21 MiG-21s destroyed, North Vietnam claimed 17 F-105 Thunderchiffs 11 F-4 Phantom IIS. 2 RF-101 Voodoos, 1 A-4 Skyhawk, 1 Vought F-8 Crusader, 1 EB-66 Destroyer and 3 Unidentified Types shot down by MiG-21S. 1968, US claimed 9 MiG-21S destroyed, North Vietnam claimed 17 US aircraft shot down by MiG-21S. 1969, US destroyed 3 MiG-21S. One Ryan Fire BUAV destroyed by a MiG-21. 1970, U.S. destroyed two MiG-21s. North Vietnam claimed one F-4 Phantom and one CH-53C Stallion helicopter shot down by MiG-21s. 1972, U.S. claimed 51 MiG-21s destroyed. North Vietnam claimed 53 U.S. aircraft shot down by MiG-21s including two B-52 Strato Fortress bombers. Soviet General Fasenko, the main Soviet advisor to the North Vietnamese Air Force in 1972, 58, recorded 34 MiG-21s destroyed in 1972. 58. On the 3rd of January, 1968, a single MiG-21 pilot, Harvan Chuck, entered battle with 36 American planes and claimed one F-105 Thunderchief.60. During the war, the VPUF claimed 103 F-4 Phantoms were shot down by MiG-21S, and that they lost 60 MiG-21S in air combat, 54 by Phantoms. 
61, 1, according to Russian data. The Vf MiG 21S claimed 165 air victories, with the loss of 65 aircraft, including a few by accident or friendly fire, and 16 pilots. The losses of MiG 21 pilots were the lowest of all airplanes. 62 Arab Israeli conflicts. The MiG 21 was also used extensively in Middle Eastern conflicts of the 1960s. 1970s and 1980s by the Egyptian Air Force, Syrian Air Force and Iraqi Air Force. The MiG-21 first encountered Israeli Mirage Thrikts on the 14th of November 1964, but it was not until the 14th of July 1966 that the first MiG-21 was shot down. Another six Syrian MiG-21s were shot down by Israeli Mirages on the 7th of April 1967. MiG-21s also faced McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom IIS and Douglas F-4 Skyhawks, but were later outclassed by the more modern McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle and General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon, both acquired by Israel starting in the mid-1970s. During this period, Syrian pilots flying MiG-21S also independently discovered the Cobra Maneuver, which became a standard defensive maneuver under the name Zero Speed Maneuver, Syrian, 63. Israeli Mirage 3 shot down by an Egyptian MiG-21 during the October War during the opening attacks of the 1967 Six-Day War. The Israeli Air Force, IAF, struck Arab Air Forces in four attack waves. In the first wave, Israeli pilots claimed to have destroyed eight Egyptian aircraft in air-to-air -air combat, of which seven were MiG-21s. Egypt claimed five kills scored by MiG-21 PFs. 64. During the second wave, Israel claimed four more MiG-21s downed in air-to-air -air combat, with the third wave resulting claimed air victories over two Syrian and one Iraqi MiG-21. The fourth wave destroyed many more Syrian MiG-21s on the ground. Overall, Egypt lost around 100 out of about 110 MiG-21s they had, almost all on the ground. Syria lost 35 of its 60 MiG-21 F-13S and MiG-21 PFs in the air and in the ground. Dot. 1. Between the end of the Six-Day War and the start of the War of Attrition, IAF Mirage fighters scored six confirmed kills of Egyptian MiG-21S, and Egyptian MiG-21S scored two confirmed and three probable kills against Israeli aircraft. Between the end of Six-Day War to the end of the War of Attrition, Israel claimed a total of 25 destroyed Syrian MiG-21S. The Syrians claimed three confirmed and four probable kills of Israel aircraft, although Israel denied these. Dot, one, high losses to Israeli aircraft and continuous bombing during the War of Attrition caused Egypt to ask the Soviet Union for help. In March 1970, Soviet pilots and some crews arrived with their equipment. On the 13th of April, during the air battle over the Red Sea coast, the Soviet MiG-21 MFs, according to some data, shot down two Israeli F-4 fighters, 65, 66. On the 18th of April, one Israeli scout RF-4E Phantom was damaged by a Soviet MiG-21 MF. 66. On 16 May an Israeli aircraft was shot down in air combat, probably by a Soviet MiG-21.67. On the 22nd of June, 1970, a Soviet pilot flying a MiG-21 MF shot down an Israeli a 4 e After that, several more successful intercepts were carried out by Soviet pilots and another Israeli a 4 was shot down on 25 June. 66. In response, Israel planned an ambush, calling it Operation Ramon 20. On the 30th of July, Israeli F-4S lured Soviet MiG-21S into an area where they were ambushed by Israeli Mirages. Ashesnia, flying a Mirage 3, destroyed a Soviet MiG-21, a Vihu Ben Nun and Avium Sailor. 
both piloting F-4S, each got a kill, and a new identified pilot in another Mirage scored a fourth kill against a Soviet-flown MiG-21. The IAF suffered only a damaged Mirage. Three Soviet pilots were killed and the Soviet Union was alarmed by the losses. Yet though it was a morale-boosting achievement, Ramon 20 did not change the course of the war. After the operation, other IAF aircraft were lost to Soviet MiG-21S and SAMs. And a week later, on the 7th of August, the Soviets responded by deploying more aircraft to Egypt and luring Israeli fighter jets into an ambush of their own. Operation Kavkas, downing two Israeli Mirage IIICJs.68 in all. During March and August 1970 Soviet MiG-21 pilots and SAM crews destroyed 21 Israeli aircraft, 8 by SA-3 missile systems and 13 by MiG-21S, at a cost of 5 MiG-21S shot down by the IAF, helping to convince the Israelis to sign a ceasefire. Dot. 69. In September, 1973, a large air battle erupted between Syria and Israel. Israel claimed a total of 12 Syrian MiG-21S destroyed, while Syria claimed 8 kills scored by MiG-21S and admitted 5 losses. During the Yom Kippur War, Israel claimed 73 kills against Egyptian MiG-21S, 65 confirmed. Egypt claimed 27 confirmed kills and 8 probables against Israeli aircraft by its MiG-21S.1. However, according to most Israeli sources, these were exaggerated claims, as Israeli air-to-air -air combat losses for the entire war did not exceed 15.70. 71. On the Syrian front, the 6th of October, 1973 saw a flight of Syrian MiG-21 MFs shoot down an Israeli A4E and Mirage Thrich, losing three of their own to Israeli IAI Neshes. On the 7th of October, Syrian MiG-21 MFs down it to Israeli F4S, three Mirage III CJs and an A4E while losing two of their MiGs to Neshes and one to an F4E, as well as two to friendly SAM fire. Iraqi MiG-21 PFs also operated on this front, and on that same day destroyed two A4S while losing one MiG. On the 8th of October, 1973, Syrian MiG-21 PFMs down at three F4S, but six of their MiG-21S were lost. By the end of the war, Syrian MiG-21S claimed a total of 30 confirmed kills against Israeli aircraft, 29 MiG-21S were claimed, 26 confirmed, as destroyed by the IDF.1. Later on the 26th of April, 1974, an unusual occurrence involving Pakistani fighter pilot flight Lieutenant Sitar Alvi took place while he was on deputation to the number 67 a squadron of the Syrian Air Force. Alvi, flying a Syrian MiG-21 F-13, serial number 1863, out of Syria's al Dume Air Base with a fellow PAF pilot was an aerial patrol near the Golan Heights when he spotted two Israeli Mirage Thrichs intruding in Syrian airspace. According to modern Pakistani sources, Alvi and his flight leader engaged them, and after a brief dogfight shot down one of the Mirages, flown by Captain M. Lutz. The Israeli pilot later succumbed to wounds her sustained during ejection. 72, 73, however, no major sources from the time reported on such an incident, 74, 75, 76, and there is no mention of Captain Lutz in Israel's Ministry of Defense's record of Israel's casualties of war. 77. Between the end of the Yom Kippur War and the start of the 1982 Lebanon War, Israel received modern F-15S and F-16S which were far superior to the old Syrian MiG-21 MFs. According to the IDF, these new aircraft shot down 24 Syrian MiG-21S over this period, though Syria did claim 5 IAF kills by MiG-21s armed with outdated K-13 missiles, Israel denied that it had suffered any losses. 1. 
The 1982 Lebanon War began on the 6th of June, 1982, and during the conflict the IAF claimed to have destroyed about 45 Syrian MiG-21 MF Syria confirmed the loss of 37 MiG-21s, including 24 MiG-21 BIS and 10 MiG-21 MF downed and 2 MiG-21 BIS and 1 MiG-21 MF written off, 78, Syria claimed to confirmed and 15 probable kills of Israeli aircraft. Dot, one, two Israeli F-15S and one F-4 were damaged in combat with MiG-21S.79, 80, in the largest air battle since the Korean War, one Israeli F-15 was heavily damaged by a Syrian MiG-21 firing AR-60 missile, but was able to make back to base for repairs.80, Syrian civil war. Beginning in July 2012, at which point the Syrian civil war had lasted a year without aerial action, the Syrian Air Force started operations against Syrian insurgents. MiG-21S were among the first combat-ready aircraft used in bombings, rocket attacks and strafing runs, with numerous videos showing the attacks. 81. The rebels had access to heavy machine guns different anti-aircraft guns and Russian and Chinese MANPADS, up to modern designs such as the FN-6. The first loss of a MiG-21 during the Syrian Civil War was recorded on 30 August 2012. The MiG, registration number 2271, was likely downed by heavy machine gun fire on takeoff or landing at Abu al-Duhur military airbase under siege by rebels. 82. A few days later, on the 4th of September, 2012, another MiG-21, registration number 2280, was shot down in similar circumstances at the same base, also likely on takeoff or landing by rebels using by KPV 14.5mm machine guns. The downing was recorded on video. 83. On the 10th of November, 2014, Syrian Air Force MiG-20... Yes, we have to stop because the camp out of power. It's 13, 13. All the camp takes 24 hours to charging. And now we have uh, three large parts. It's, it's, uh, the video splits every 20 minutes. So I will, uh, I will uh, continue uh, this camcorder there, but I need a break. I need a break, go to the bathroom and get some cola. The apartment is still a little hot today, but not like yesterday, it was 27, 28. Seven twenty-eight is not very hot, but it feels uh, hot when you are me. Uh, I'm living in Denmark. I'm not living in, uh, in uh, North Africa or the Middle East. I'm living up uh, north Denmark. I need to go to my kitchen, so I will just uh, continue eating. But I need the break. Uh, Something to drink. Then uh, I will finish. I have to do some video in my language, uh, Dennis, about this. But no, I will stop uh, video. I have to find out what to read tomorrow. If I should go down to the MiG uh, 19, 15, I should maybe do that. I go backwards, but I need that. Uh, the MiG uh, 29. So, what I'll do with that later.